my name is Chanel and I'm a park ranger at Long Key State Park. Uh, I've been here for a couple years and I've really fallen in love with the Keys because of this park. I got involved with Florida State Parks by volunteering and I was an AmeriCorps member for some time. That really introduced me to our Florida State Park system. Coming down to the Florida Keys is the best place to be. And we have a lot of different opportunities for you to come with your friends and family and have a great time here. We have kayaking, and I mean great kayaking. We got all sorts of places that you can take and go paddling that are from our beautiful ocean here to our lake. Tons of wildlife viewing, especially for you birders. It's excellent. Uh, and then of course we have primitive camping. And so right now we only have tent camping, but we are in the progress of rebuilding our RV campground, which is going to be magnificent as soon as it opens up. And our hiking trails, my favorite part about this park, um, it's just over a mile long. You can leisurely walk in about an hour and then you go through four distinct natural communities and it is absolutely gorgeous. So come along with me and I'll show you some of the things we have here at Long Key State Park. So this is our Long Key side track. And this was a site where when Henry Bogler was building his railroad, it was a work camp site. A lot of stuff happened here that really helped our overseas railroad become what it is, or what it was, and most certainly what it is today. So come check out and see for yourself this historical site. So as we're walking through, um, this is one of the reasons why this place is so special to me. If you're looking around, you see all the native plants and flora as we're going to a very important historical site. There's so much to offer here, which is why I fell in love with this place. Uh, I'm originally from Austin, Texas, and uh, this is very different than back home, uh, but my family understands why I'm here and not back home. This place is amazing. And every day I come to work, I love what I'm doing and love my contribution to our environment. This is a beautiful place we call home and visit and love and enjoy, and I'm glad to be a part of that. This right here is actually black bead, um, and this is one of the primary host plants for the critically endangered Miami blue butterfly. Uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service was doing some research about them here in our park, actually, and. Um, they're going to be doing some stuff this upcoming year as well for them. Uh, you have some really cool native plants here, even like this is Bahama Nightshade. Um, so looks like a nightshade, looks like little mini tomatoes there. And that's a really interesting plant as well. And of course, we have our palms here. We have our thatch palms and we have two different varieties here in the park. We have the Florida Keys thatch palm and um, our regular Florida thatch palm, which are both protected plants. Um, and of course we love our mangroves. There's a bunch of them out here uh, as this does go through that mangrove ecosystem. The overseas uh, railroad was being developed. Uh, they needed that work camp area, so this was it. It was a pool off side from uh, the main part of the railroad. And as you can see, we have our uh, lovely display here of, uh, this was called Camp Nine. So there were other work camps down the Keys uh, this was dish number nine and the very cool thing is if you take a look you have kind of an idea of what it looked like before um, with the railroad ties um, and all this stuff is original and this right here though is the exact place that they were i mean this was what was unearthed during irma so although these sections here we rebuilt, put up there for a display for educational purposes. These ties right here are the originals, haven't moved since uh, the early 1900s. So they've been there a very long time and they still tell that story even today. We have some information here about them and also the process it went through um, to work on restoring these ties as well as do justice to this site. I am here to give you the secret scoop. So we do have a geocache here at Long Key State Park. And if you're not familiar with it, what it is is basically a modern day treasure hunt. You find those, these geocaches and um, you can find them by coordinates. So you can go online, plug in these coordinates into your phone or your GPS, find this treasure, if you will, and sign your name in the logbook, 
and there's little trinkets. You can take one and then add one, and it's a really fun activity to do. So we're about to go check out the Gold Orm Nature Trail. It's just over a mile long and has excellent hiking, especially for the Florida Keys. There's a lot of different scenery. In fact, we go through four different natural communities and they're all very different. So let's check out the first one here. We have our tropical hardwood hammock. And then right past here, we have the salt pan, which is like a desert, if you will. It's like a uh, Florida beachy desert. And it is a very cool part of the trail as well. Come on! This is that area I was discussing about um, these mangroves. During Hurricane Irma, uh, the water was up for very high for a very long time period. They basically drowned them out. Um, too much salt, too much selenium. Man mangroves are made to be in this kind of environment, but it was just too much. Um, it was interesting how it's isolated itself to this area, but just think about all the energy that came up here and how much more destruction there would have been without these mangroves here. Thank you so much for coming along with me and exploring Long Key State Park. I hope you're able to come back and join us and join us for one of our educational programs, a lovely paddle, or maybe even camping. We're open every day of the year, including holidays. So we're always here for you anytime you need to get out in nature, relax, and have a good time with the family.